The Golden Bachelor's Leslie Fema says Gary all but proposed in their fantasy suite. Hey everyone, welcome back to Shared News. I just cannot believe how quickly the tables turned on The Golden Bachelor from something we all really, really loved to it being filled with scandal. Of course, we're gonna get into all of it, but before we do, if you are new here, please be sure to subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, so you never miss out on any of your Bachelor Nation updates. As always, I'm your host, Morgan Wright. We are still trying to compute what exactly happened on the finale of The Golden Bachelor. Obviously, Gary was down to his final two, Leslie and Teresa. Going into the finale episode, it seemed like it was a done deal that Leslie was gonna be the one to end up with Gary. And then plot twist, at the very last minute, it ended up being Teresa. You know, after the final rose, it was tough for Leslie and Gary, she even said to him, only you and I know what was said in the fantasy suite. Well, she's kind of letting us know what was said in the fantasy suite. She went on Bachelor Happy Hour with Joe and Serena, and she kind of spilled the tea. Now, first and foremost, we've seen some of the things that Gary said to her. Um, you're the one I can't live without. You're my girl. I love you. But now she is telling us what was said behind closed doors. She said, I don't want to say everything he said, but it was a hundred percent certainty that I woke up the next morning that I was going to be it. Leslie said he made plans with me for the future, kind of like save the date. This is what we're going to do. I can't wait for us two more days and we'll be done with this. We'll be together, start our life. She said, did he say, will you marry me? No, but he all but said that. Uh, she even said, I would have been happy with just, I love you, but Gary took it to a whole different level. Now, Gary, of course, had his own side of the story that he revealed also on Bachelor Happy Hour. He said, there were conversations in the fantasy suite that were very revealing to me. Quite honestly, because they're in the fantasy suite and they're not in front of cameras or microphones, I feel like it's appropriate to keep that in the fantasy suite and leave it there. He said, but yeah, there were some things that we talked about. Let me be clear, this is just my opinion. It's absolutely nothing against Teresa. I think Teresa is a wonderful woman. They definitely have a lot in common. Obviously, they have the shared experience of losing their longtime life partner. Um, but you know, it was, it did seem like a last second change of heart to a lot of viewers by Gary. That coupled with this Hollywood Reporter article that alleges Gary lied about his past dating history after his wife passed away. Now, could this all throw a wrench into how the Golden Bachelor franchise moves forward? You know, coming into this finale, everyone was obsessed with the Golden Bachelor. It was a breath of fresh air. It was heartfelt, it was moving, but it was also a feel good show that you could watch. I thoroughly enjoyed every second of it as opposed to, you know, the normal Bachelor franchise, which some people would say is getting a little stale. Um, so this definitely threw a wrench in the whole system because it really changed our perspective or perception of the show. Hindsight is 2020, right? But the Golden Wedding is still going to air on January 4th. So Teresa and Gary are gonna have to do a lot of press in the meantime to get people to watch this Golden Wedding, which let me be honest, even though I was Team Leslie, I am 100% going to watch the Golden Wedding. But I'm wondering how Gary and Teresa will navigate the next couple of weeks because you know any press that they're gonna do, the Hollywood Reporter article is gonna be brought up. You know, this ex that goes by the name of Carolyn is gonna be brought up. Now that Leslie is coming out and saying what Gary told her in the family, fantasy suite. I'm sure that is going to be brought up. Look, I don't think they're going to split or anything like that, but it does make me kind of sad for them because this should be a happy time. They're less than a month away from having their wedding broadcast on national television. So I will be very interested to see how they promote the golden wedding going forward. And does this negative press impact the future of The Golden Bachelor, whether it be a season of The Golden Bachelorette or even a second season of The Golden Bachelor. I think a lot of fans were expecting them to announce the first Golden Bachelorette at after the final rose and they didn't do that. A lot of us are wondering why didn't they do that? Are they waiting until after the Golden Wedding? Maybe they kind of want to take one particular big piece of news at a time. 
I have no idea. I mean, like, let's face it. The Hollywood Reporter article wasn't great. Like I said, I wasn't necessarily thrilled with the way the show ended, but overall, I mean, I still thoroughly enjoyed watching The Golden Bachelor. I actually looked forward to watching it every single Thursday. You know, it was a show that my husband and I watched together and it was just fun and it was just a breath of fresh air. So hopefully all of these plot twists don't impact the future of it too much, but let us know what you think of it all, what you think of Leslie on the Bachelor Happy Hour podcast, what you think about the golden wedding moving forward. If you were kind of turned off by the Hollywood Reporter article, you know, we love to hear from our shared news family. So leave your opinions in the comment section below. Like this video, subscribe to our channel because we will keep you updated on all things Bachelor Nation. Of course, we'll see you next time on Shared News.